Hey guys, what's up? It's Eddie, and I am extremely happy because I have upgraded my um, graphics card to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 260. Um, it works great, especially with the CUDA in Adobe Premiere and After Effects, as well as Corel Video Studio. Um, I love it. It works extremely well. It goes so much faster. And I'm going to set up a small test for you here in a second. As you can see here, I'm running Piriform Specky here. It shows you my graphics card. As you can see before, I had an ATI Radeon 3300 uh, for the internal, for internal um, graphics. And then I just disabled that and used the GeForce and I like it so much better it works way faster and then because I'm using an independent graphics card I don't have to make the computer share its RAM which is way better so now I have more RAM for other things so I'm gonna start up Premiere and I'm gonna show you some stuff in here with CUDA NVIDIA's accelerated encoding and decoding technology. So, it loads up. I'm going to go ahead and open up this old project. Okay. So, you see here I automatically get my yellow render line because I'm using CUDA as my primary um, rendering uh, agent slash thingy so you can see it's yellow all the way through because CUDA is rendering it if we go back here over here in playback resolution it's on full and if we go into hit the tilde key and play it you can see that it playbacks perfectly in full resolution while in CUDA and we can scrub through it while everything is nice and set here and as you can see it played the effect well just like it was supposed to and so the difference here if I go into my project settings and turn off my GPU acceleration you can see here that my red render line comes back except for this part because I rendered this out already to create another uh, video file but you can see it won't play uh, back as well in uh, just software only as you can see it'll jump a little bit and it lags a little bit so I'm going to go back and change this back to normal with my GPU acceleration and set this back. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring in a new uh, file here. I'm just going to bring in this here into a new sequence. It's HD video footage that I created in After Effects and it's a really small clip a um, few seconds and then I can add some other stuff on the end some uh, different formats let's see here uh, there we go about a one minute clip ish and so I'm gonna test this rendering with the GPU acceleration on so I'm gonna go export media and then I'm going to go to change my settings. Okay, so I'm going to do match sequence settings. And so it has all of this here. And then you can see all of our stuff is ready. And so let's go to close this out. Let's go to export. And you can see here, normally this footage would take way longer to export. Um, especially since I have a lower end machine it's only a dual core with four gigs of RAM um, and because of this CUDA card um, it's staying under uh, 
three minutes and two and a half minutes while rendering this which is extremely fast especially on my machine now if you're running something with a quad core and eight core with uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM and you have one of these uh, cards in it and this is one of the lower end NVIDIA um, one of the lower end GTX cards from NVIDIA now if you had like a uh, 495 I think it's I think it is then this would go crazy faster but I just bought one of these and it was it was working perfectly for me um, good render times um, especially if I'm not working in HD it works way faster if you're not working in HD as well so um, it works very well for me I'm doing it just works amazingly for me so I'm going to pause this and once it's about to finish okay as you can see um, this is almost done encoding um, it just finished and I will go to my desktop and show you here it is right here and I'm able to play it and okay so as you can see here as you can see here <laughs> my friend Cody from Cody short um, as you can see it's beautiful playback even not even uh, even Windows Media Player is being affected by CUDA. It's not lagging at all um, like it used to for me. Um, now it's playing back smoothly. Um, if you see when Cody here is doing that up and jumpy up and down thingy, it's not uh, creating any pixelation around him. It's nice and smooth. If we go into full screen, you can see it's nice and smooth it's really good um, and that's the thing I love about this card it's that everything is nice and smooth